June and July are very, very busy months for us, and usually we're booked about a year before in our schedules. So I recommend to project directors that they contact us perhaps in the fall, but as soon as they know that they want to come, they need to be in touch with us, and we will do our absolute best to to get them in the museum because that's very important. And if there's time and if there's space and we're available to do so, we would be very happy to provide professional development to them as well. And for groups that cannot come to Washington, D.C., we offer many resources off-site. Um, first of all, our website is filled with archival material, our photo archives, for example. We also have exemplary lessons that have been tested by teachers and education experts, and they have been vetted for historical accuracy. Um, we also have online exhibitions that contain collections that we encourage teachers to use for a more hands-on approach. Um, more importantly, we have traveling exhibitions, and on our website you can see a schedule of what exhibitions will be in certain venues around the country and when. And from our standpoint, from the educational standpoint, we have a network of museum regional educators, our regional education corps, and these are 30 educators who are deeply involved with our museum, who are spread out around the country. And if you contact us in the education division in the National Outreach for Teacher Initiatives branch, we can be in touch with our museum regional educators and they can work with a TAH project anywhere in the country to provide professional development even before a group comes to the museum or after or if they never come at all. Um, we still have that on-ground support. We also have 246 museum teacher fellows around the country, one in each of the 50 states. And they are also resources whom we turn to to provide professional development in places where we're not able to go.